beautiful. Okay. Yeah, so thank you for reaching out. No, I mean, I, 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 like I said, I sometimes late at night I start looking over and, and I've been trying to do this for quite some time because uh, there is a little, uh, a little way that is coming in foreclosures and all that. Yes. And I wanted to get ahead and try to do an ad and try to go, uh, you know, in the front. Uh, mm -hmm. Where are you at, by the way, David? I'm in San Diego. I'm in California. Okay, so your area there is is more or less like down here in in, in Florida. You're 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 kind of the hot spot, huh? Oh yeah, I mean it's been it's been I mean it's been the hot spot for for many years now. I mean I I come from mortgages. I come from marketing. I mean I, I've been doing online marketing for for a very long time, twenty twenty one years. But then I I spent six years as a lender in in the mortgage industry. So here in San Diego, I mean prices have kind of been up for a very long time. You know. Got but, it. but no, I, I, I meant as far as the Corona, I oh, know San oh, Diego oh. is. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess on, on May 1st, now they're, they're going to be requiring us to wear a mask outside. So, oh, God. well, I guess I, we're, we're a little bit ahead of that over here. They're ready to yeah. Yeah. It's oh. just, it's, it's wild, man. It's, it's really crazy. If you ask me. Yeah. I've been doing um, basically real estate for over, I say 25 years, just, just to be generous. And, uh, yeah. and uh, the majority of that has been in investment. So I do real estate, no more real estate, you know, selling and, and, and de dealing with clients. Mm -hmm. But lately I've been doing more of what it is, the uh, buying, the flip, the fixing and the flip. Awesome. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I deal a lot with foreclosures. That's, that's all I do. Amazing. I buy foreclosure property, fix them, and, 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 and sell them. But lately, obviously, the inventory has been uh, diminishing to mm -hmm. the point that I've been sort of out of that market for a little bit now, just doing regular real estate. But I, I know that there is a little wave that is going to come over. So I'm trying to uh, get ahead of the wave and actually do all this so I can start. Uh, uh, you know, advertising and all those people that basically fall, yeah, uh, you know, behind on their mortgage and all that. And I think about selling, I can mm -hmm. be, uh, you know, in front of them. That, that, I mean, that you're, you're ahead of the game. That's a great, that's a great, you know, vision and strategy and long-term thinking. And the long-term is really not even long-term, right? It's going to be happening here in the, in the very short future, as far as, yeah. you know, people needing your help. Um, are you a licensed realtor as well, or just investor? I am a licensed broker. I'm a licensed GC also. Gotcha. Really so, cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I have, a, uh, I, I've been trying to set up myself uh, to be as efficient as I can. Mm -hmm. One of my major problems right now is that people are uh, what they call virtual wholesaling. Yes. And I'm trying to do that, but I find it kind of hard basically getting used to without looking at the property, without looking at the, uh, yeah. What is it that you're getting into mm -hmm. uh, doing it because I don't wholesale, I purchase, fix and flip. So I don't know if that model basically is work for I mean, it's good for virtual or not. That's 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 what mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. battling over here with. Okay. Okay. But but ne nevertheless, your uh, the ad that uh, hopefully we're going to be working together. It, you know, it all depends where you show it that. Uh, that uh well if it is local then obviously i'm going to be getting local people if it's something that i'm like i'm planning to go all all, all across florida then obviously will be uh i'll have to deal with that when it gets to the point so so then it, are you targeting all of florida or do you kind of or do you want to just kind of stay in your in your area no i i i right now the only thing that i target is florida perfect i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, miami Miami. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All those places that I can drive to myself and do the assessment and then come back out. Uh, having said that, Miami or Miami Dade, which is where Miami is at, mm -hmm. uh, is, uh, is getting overpopulated and overcrowded. So the deals are getting harder and harder to come through and there's a lot more mm -hmm. uh, competition, if you will, for the, for the properties. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about start expanding and rather than florida and take south florida uh, i'm just I mean, rather than miami they take like south florida to start with then central then, then, then south florida oh yeah okay okay so i'm so, just I, I mean obviously i'm going to sound very biased you know by saying this but mm -hmm. just from a from a marketing perspective you know there, there there's 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 only so many ways you can market i mean in your in your in your industry a lot of people do direct mail right a lot of people send out mailers 
that's a that's a that's an old school and popular method that that people would send direct mail or some type of flyer to try to get the attention or maybe maybe hit a list maybe buy different list and 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 either do drive bys or again direct mail and send mail to these people but but when it comes to offline marketing it's expensive it's 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 expensive no one's really even paying attention to that junk mail anymore or whether or, or any type of off, offline advertising many people do not pay attention to it anymore so when i when i mean what i mean by i'm going to sound bias is because I just truly believe that the best and the most effective way is a Facebook ad. So just like you're thinking, you're already thinking Facebook ads. That's, that's all you need to be thinking. Like if, if these are your different locations, the, the best way to get there is a Facebook ad. You run a Facebook ad to South Florida. You run a Facebook ad to that part of Florida, to the other side. It, it's a Facebook ad. And, and it's not only is it super powerful, but it's, it's very inexpensive, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so in your case, I would, I would really focus on, on learning Facebook ads. That's it. That's it. That's that. And, 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 and on top of that, but the problem is with most people, cause I, I've spoken to, you know, I've literally spoken to thousands of people on this exact topic. And, and, and the problem is with, I would say, I, I would literally say 99%. The problem with 99% of people, just whether it's a business owner or yeah, when it comes to a business owner, 99% it's not the fact that you don't know how to run a Facebook ad. It's not that because you can easily learn how to run a Facebook ad. It's not that what, what 99% of people lack is content. So they, 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 they lack content. They think that one ad is going to do it for them. And so they, they run one ad and they'll, and they'll run it for a few days. And if it doesn't work, they turn it off. And, and, and so the, the, the content, it doesn't, it stops, right? And so, because I work with many people and a lot of my clients are, are female real estate agents. I work with a ton of investors as well, females, and also, but many, many real estate agents that are actual female. And many of them are perfectionists. Many of them are insecure. Many of them want the perfect picture. Many of them want the perfect video. And that perfection, it, 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 it stops you. You know, it, 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 it allows a person to be, to procrastinate and, and think that they need this perfect post to attract people when it's actually the opposite. The, the best of the best keep putting out posts and keep putting out ads every day. Not, not necessarily a new ad, but they're running an ad. They're running an ad every day and, and, and they're running a different ad, maybe a different ad every week. So it's really the content. If, if, if you say, David, you know what? I have, I have so many ideas. I have so many things to talk about. Um, I can do video. I have no problem putting it out. That's, that's number one. That's the first question you have to ask yourself. It's not Facebook ads. It's not the location. It's not the, it's not the strategy. It's the fact that can we put out content? That's how you're going to get the attention of, of, of all of Florida. Is, is the fact that they keep seeing Robert in their newsfeed. Oh, there goes Robert again. I don't know him. I, I'm not Facebook friends with him. I don't like his business page. I don't even know if he has a business page, but I keep seeing this guy in my newsfeed. And, the, and then the following week, oh, there goes Robert again. And so it's the content. That's what we have to, we have to really you know, think of. So in your case, I believe it's super easy. Like when I talk to real estate agents and, and, and even in your case, investors, content is simply documenting what you're already doing. So on my YouTube channel, for example, is that, is that how you found me on YouTube? Yes. Okay. All I do on YouTube, Rob, is I document. And, 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 I, and, and, and that allows me to put out content every single day. And there's a difference. There's, there's, there's documentation where we're documenting what we're doing. And then there's other people. So, so put it this way, person number one documents what they do and that becomes their content. Person number two tries to quote unquote create content. And none of us are really creators. I'm not a creative person. I mean, I don't know about, about you, but most people are not creative. I mean, I'm not an artist. I'm not a musician. I'm, I don't, create so because we think we have to create that's what slows us down so person number two they think that with social media we have to create all these posts and we have to create all these videos 
which which has us thinking too much and 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 before you know it we never put out content do you mind if i record this actually i i am i am so i'm gonna i'll send it to you okay thank you yeah for sure and so what i've realized and what i've learned in my experience why most people are not successful whether it's a facebook ad whether it's a youtube channel whether it's just posting on social media in general people just lack content and i truly believe they don't even lack it they're just looking at it at the wrong way they're looking at it as if they have to create this amazing picture as if they have to create this amazing video where all you have to do is document and 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 again because i'm documenting that allows me to easily put up videos every single day and that allows people like robert to find me so in your case with real estate it's very very simple document Go out to a property, pull out your cell phone, talk about that property for three minutes, put it on video. That becomes our ad. The following day, walk down the street, go look at a different property, talk about it. That becomes your ad. And and so when you're able to document what's going on the day in the life of Robert, when we're able to turn this this life into a reality TV show, that, that makes it very, very easy to just spit out content every day. Because all I'm doing is documenting my life. And so in your case, you're documenting your business. Anytime you come up with an amazing idea, pull out your cell phone. Hey, guys, I just want, this is Robert. Hey, man, I just thought of this amazing strategy to help all these homeowners. Let me, tell you, uh, let me, let me take a few minutes to tell you what I was thinking. And, and, and that video is your ad. That right there, the realness, the authenticity, the cell phone, the fact that your hand is shaking, that realness is what causes engagement and that's what causes people on social media to be like man robert he keeps he keeps educating us he keeps teaching us on foreclosures and teaching us on on real estate i like that guy and 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 because you're able to document it allows you to keep putting it out and it allows your face to keep being seen it's all about being seen that's all it is and it's not and a lot of times it's not even about what you're saying the fact that you're talking about real estate investing the, t- the fact that you're a licensed real estate broker, the fact that you're, you're a professional, what you have to realize is that you know more about real estate than 99% of the entire country. And that's a fact. It's not just because you've been studying it for so long. It's because just alone you're licensed. No, who, who else is licensed? No one's licensed. So, so, so it, it almost comes down to, it almost doesn't even matter what, what you're talking about in that video. When people see you in their newsfeed and, and, and the fact that you have the credentials, you've been a, an investor forever, you're licensed. The fact that you have those basic credentials is what makes, is what, is what puts you on a pedestal and people are going to keep seeing you and they're going to listen. But, it, but that's the key words. They have to keep seeing you. And if we're person number two, who is the perfectionist, it's going to take us forever to put out content and people aren't, no, no one's going to see us, Mm -hmm. you know? So, so it, 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 it Mm -hmm. it just comes down to, and, and, and on this page, this personal page, this is where a lot of it starts as well. A lot of the magic, a lot of the connections, a lot of the networking, it starts on this personal page. And, and, and what I'm going to advise you to do is just simply give it a little facelift. And I'll show you what I'll show you what a facelift facelift looks like, but there's a ton of information missing here that hurts your credibility. And and I'll show you I'll show you what to add, but I know for a fact that you know more about the topic of real estate and real estate investing than 99% of people. And so all I'm saying is that if you were to simply take pieces of that knowledge and turn it into two to three minute videos from your cell phone, you would absolutely take over all of Miami. You would take over all of Florida. In fact, you would take over the entire country if you were to really take it from a document, approach it from a documentation point of view and just simply document a day in the life of what you're doing, a day in the life of your real estate business and 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 turn it into educational content not hey this is robert i want to list your property today call me that's what every agent is doing every agent is doing that and i see thousands on facebook alone cuz i'm connected with them 
I see how everyone's marketing their listing. I see how everyone's marketing their open house. I see how everyone's pitching themselves on how they're the best agent and how, they're, how they'll list your house tonight and have it sold by tomorrow. I see it by the thousands. And everyone's pitching the same thing. No one is documenting and no one is educating. What I want you to do is start educating it, it, and, and again, put out new content. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't necessarily, when it comes to Facebook ads, because that's what you're going to have to do. Forget about organic social media. Forget about social media. When it comes to social media, social media is, is, is what we call organic posting. Everyone is just posting. But when it comes to a local business owner, when it comes to this page, when it comes to social media, here's the reality. When we start to connect with people on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, whatever, when we start to grow our quote unquote following on social media and we take our Facebook friends from one, from 100 to 1000 and we take it to 3000 to 4000 to 5000. And the only reason why you would do that, the only reason why you would take your friend count up, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever, the only reason why you would increase it and request more people and accept more people the only reason why is because you're a business owner. That's the only reason why you would do it. Because if you were not a business owner and if you had nothing to sell, you would be fine with the 100 friends that you have on Facebook because every single one of them you know. But because we need exposure and because we need our brand recognition, we feel we have to accept everyone, request everyone, and grow our friend count. But the sad reality part is, is that if we're a local business owner, and we're only looking to focus on Miami, at the end of the day, the thousands and thousands of people that are following us on quote unquote social media, 99% of them will live across the country. So that's why when you and I connect and we become friends on Facebook and you start promoting your listing or you start promoting a foreclosure that's on the market or that's about to hit, as you start to post stuff like that, guess what? 99% of your friends are not going to care. I'm not going to care. I'm in San Diego. So that's why to a local business owner, there is no such thing as social media. There is no such thing as let me post, let me post, let me post. No. Why? 99% of my friends don't even live in the area. So that's why a local business owner absolutely 1000% needs to be running Facebook ads. That's the only thing you need to be doing. That's it. There, there is no social media. It's Facebook advertising. That is it. Because it's the only inexpensive marketing method that is the most effective where I can literally target a specific location. I am focused on South Miami. I am focused on Miami. How do I target them and I don't waste my time? It's a Facebook ad. And so, and so, um, 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 um what else was I going to say? Um, man, I was going to say something else, but I'll, I'll, I'll remember it. But does, does that kind of make sense? Totally, totally. The only thing is, is that I'm a little confused. I'm not, uh, by no means, <laughs> uh, I don't even use social media that much yeah. other than to post ads. Yes, good. And uh, good. I, I do that on a business page, and that's what I thought that I was supposed to per do, not, not in here, my personal. Yes, yes, yes. But here's the, here's the deal. As people start to look you up, this page, you don't, have to, you don't have to post here all the time at all, at all. But there has to be information here in the intro that at least shows your business. So right, right here, you, you, you had the right intention, but this is the wrong link. So if I click on it, it doesn't take me anywhere. Mm -hmm. so, so watch, for example, here's, here's, here's another real estate agent slash investor. This is a friend of mine, Candy, because here's the deal. On social media, no one knows us, right? That's mm -hmm. the thing. As we take friends and increase it, no one knows us. And so because we're building a business, we at least want to let them know what we're doing. We, we at least want to let them know that we're in business. And it's this intro that is super, super important. So for example, I come across Robert's page and I'm going to, if I, if I look you up on social media, I'm going to come across this page most likely first. So all I'm saying is that there's just a, a little bit of information that should be here. So for example, this is what you're showing. And I come over to Candy's page. And I, and I, and I, let's just say I'm seeing her ads and I look her up and I come across her page and this is what she's showing. So, so this link, just like your link, it needs to go to your business page right now. It's a, it's a dead link. 
So this link goes to her business page, but most importantly, she's showing me Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and her website. Now she's not showing it to me because she's just this social media person and she's all over social media and she has all these platforms. She's not just showing it to me for that. She's showing me that for credibility. It's social proof. It's letting me know that, hey, Candy actually is a real person. I come over here and I'm thinking, man, who the hell is Robert? He, I don't even know if this is a real page. Mm -hmm. It's just basic credibility. That's all it is. It's perception. It's social proof. It's letting the audience know, yeah, I exist elsewhere. Because, because as people find you on Facebook, they might see your Facebook ad. But what if, 90, what, if, what if some of them actually spend majority of their time on LinkedIn? Because they do. A lot of, in your industry, a lot of people are on LinkedIn. A lot of people are on Instagram. And so all you want to know from a business perspective, where's everybody at? Billions and billions of people, even though you're only focused on Miami, from a, from a, from a broad perspective, billions of people are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Those are the top five. And so all I'm saying from a business perspective, we have to at least have them set up. You don't have to post on them. You don't have to know all about them. No, we just have to have them set up. We have to have them set up. We have to have them listed. And if you look closely, which you don't even have to look close, they're all matching. So mm -hmm. whatever our business name is, we need to simply make it active on all these other platforms as well, just so we have a presence. That's it. That social proof goes a long way. That credibility goes a long way. So when I see Robert's ad and it's coming from his business page, okay, great. But if I go look him up on social media, I better find him elsewhere or else I'm not going to think he's serious. I'm not going to think he's a real person, right? That's just, that, that's just perception, really. It's, it's, it, it's just letting the, the audience know, hey, man, I'm a real person. Find me wherever the hell you want to find me. I exist. Got it. Never, and, 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 never look at it that way. <laughs> and, and, and that's just what we, because in, in general, offline, for example, branding is everything, right? When, mm -hmm. when it comes to our business and if Robert and I was, were going to go in, into business and let's say the internet or social media really wasn't even here, let's just say you and I were going to go start a business. What would we really start with? Business cards, maybe, maybe, maybe a banner, maybe some flyers with our logo and, our, and, and maybe a website address, branding. Branding is everything. On social media, this is branding. This is what we call social media branding. My links are all matching, my accounts are active, and everything is listed on my Facebook page because that's where I spend the majority of my time is on Facebook. So as I connect with people, they're going to see all my links there. And if they choose to follow me on Twitter, okay, great, go follow me there. And even though Robert's not on Twitter, his account's active, his link is customized and matching his company name. And so if I decide to follow you on Twitter, because that's where I spend all my time. And if I decide to message you on Twitter about that deal you were promoting or marketing, you're going to be glad you get that message. Like you messaged mm -hmm. me on Facebook. What if, what if I, what if I'm not even on Facebook? What if I just have it set up, but I spend all my time on LinkedIn, right? So you, mm -hmm. so you want to just, just be able to communicate with the, with the audience where they, you want to meet the audience where they're at. And, and although Facebook is where it's at and Facebook advertising is all we're going to do, we still want to open up our doors and let people know our business exists on these other platforms as well. And it's really just those other platforms. There's probably 50 other social media platforms, but it's really just these top five. These are the top five. This is where billions of people are at. And, and that's all we need to have up and active. Is, is, is that basic, basic, you know, branding. Got it. Makes sense. Makes okay. Sense. So, so that's what I would do first. That's step one. That's step one. Before we go capture a lead, before we run a Facebook ad, give this pace, uh, page a facelift. And then also mm -hmm. let's, let me pull up your business page. Where's your business page? Uh, I typically go over when I log in, it, it shows me on, on, the, on the side, uh, the pages. So you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can um, if I can find it. What do you think it would be under? Would it be under this? Uh, this? Hold on. Uh, creative finance. Put creative finance. That's one of them. Creative finance. 
No, not at all. Um, Let me see if I can pop that up in here. Yeah, so all I'm doing here, Rob, is just is just showing you the basics. Like this is basic stuff that should happen before you go and try to run Facebook ads. Yeah, I was looking on the library. That's what it's taking me to. And see, so that that's another thing where you want to you want to for sure have everything listed over here and have this link, your business page link, and and be able to customize the name on all mm -hmm. the platforms. Because when you go with a very um, common name, creative finance, that's a very common, common name. Mm -hmm. Chances are many, many people are gonna have that same name. Yes. So if we're going to brand that name and we're going into business, I need that name on everything. Because if I said, and, and I see this, I see this all the time where a, where a real estate agent or a business owner will have the name for Facebook, but when they go and try to get the name for LinkedIn, it's taken. Or when they go and try to register the domain name, it's taken. But, uh, yet we're, but yet we're over here trying to brand the name creative financing when 5 million other people already have the name. I, so, okay. You know, so we just yeah. want to make well, sure we lock it and secure it on every platform. Let me, let me explain the logic in back of that. That was when I was running ad and whoever obviously I was bringing in was through the ads. It was directly to me. So I didn't really, didn't care who else had the name. Yeah. I guess that, that's the wrong way of thinking about it. If, I mean, coming from your perspective. Well, I mean, it's not that it's the wrong way. I mean, because at the end, at the end of the day, if it was giving you leads, that's all that matters, right? If we're closing deals, shit, the heck with David, what David's saying, right? That, I mean, if, it, if it's doing good for you, that, 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 if, if it's doing good for you, that's the, that's more of a reason why we need to make sure that that's our name because I want to secure it on all on in every angle, even though it might just be feeding my family from one simple method, which is a Facebook ad. I still need to cover my bases on all of social media because this is my brand and I want to protect it. Mm -hmm. So, so if you have the name on Facebook, guess what? I have the name on LinkedIn. Another person has the name on Twitter and then someone else has the dot com. It just mm -hmm. makes me look weak, you know, yes. to the, right? Like I want to, I want to look like a brand. And, and, and so that's, that's just how you do it. You just simply just make sure you lock it on every platform and, and no one could take that name. And here it says at creative financing dot fl. Okay, creative financing dot, dot fl is it. I wonder if um let me see if I, I can find it this it. way. And if I can't, let me see if I can find it. Right there, right there, the top, the top one. This one? Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, so here, here's the next step. Okay. Here is the next step. Step one. And, and again, the reason why I'm telling you this and the reason why we're starting here is because this is going to make your lead capture and your Facebook ads a hundred times more effective. That's the reason why I'm taking you from, from step one. Cause, cause I know you were probably only thinking Facebook ads, lead capture. How can I get better at that? This is how we get better. We just step up our branding and we step up our online credibility. That's what this is all about. So, so step one, this is what I call step one. Step two is this page over here. As you start to run ads from this page and people start to see this page and this ad in the newsfeed. So as I'm scrolling through and I'm just seeing what my friends are up to and I'm seeing what everyone is doing. And then all of a sudden I come across, let me see if I can find one. All of a sudden, I come across a sponsored ad. This is what you've been doing, right? Is running, running yes. sponsored ads. Yes. Whether it's an image or whether it's a video, it doesn't matter. There's the text. There's the image. There's the learn more. Exactly. Now, here, here's the reason why 
content is so important because this image, even though you're targeting me, even though I live in that local area and, and, and you're running an ad directly to me, this image might not be the one that grabs my attention. So therefore you better be putting out another one very, very soon. But here's the thing. If I'm just seeing you for the first time, I've never seen creative financing before. All of a sudden you're in my newsfeed running an ad to me. Not all of us are going to click learn more right away to see what you're doing. A lot of us are going to click on your business page link and come over to your business page. A lot of people are going to do that because they don't know you. They haven't seen your ad before, right? They don't know mm -hmm. you. So they're going to come over here and see who the heck you are just to kind of break you down and, and learn more. And when they come here and they see 51,000 likes, instantly that person has my, my, my attention. But if I click on that ad and I come over here and I see three, instantly I disqualify you. And here's the crazy part. Robert, 20 plus years in the industry, 20 plus years investor, all this, all these credibility accolades, licensed real estate professional, you have been crushing it for a very long time. But when I come here and I see three, because again, I don't know you, no one knows you, other people seen your ad, no one knows Robert, other than his wife and his family on social media, no one knows you. So automatically, I'm going to think that you just started because three people like it. So what I call step two is the very next ad, the very next dollar, our ad budget needs to go into running a like ad first to get that three to 1300. I need to come to the page like Candy, for example. Here's her personal page. I come over here to her business page. It's just a, a, you know, a, her business page. But I come to her business page and I see 3,500. If she was running ads to me and I clicked on her link and came to her page, to do some more due diligence before I give up my name and number on her landing page, that 3,500 automatically I'm going to assume that she's the 25 year veteran. Got it. It's perception. People uh -huh. need to see a big number and it doesn't have to be 3,500. It doesn't have to be 51,000, but it has to be at least a thousand. Like I gotta, I gotta see a comma in that number because here's the reality. I've seen thousands and thousands, and I'm not joking. I've seen thousands since, since 2016 alone, because in, in, from 2010 to 2016, I was a lender. So I was, in doing mortgage, I was doing mortgages from 2010 to 2016. It was in 2016 when I left mortgages to start helping real estate agents and investors with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So since 2016, I've been talking about this exact thing and I've spoken to thousands of agents on this exact, exact topic. When I look at pages, business pages of, face, of real estate agents and investors, I'm telling you, I've seen thousands of them. 99% of them, Rob, 99%, and this is not an exaggeration, 99% have around 200 to 300 likes. And when I come across Candy, she has 3,500. So if the consumer is used to seeing two to 300 likes on every other real estate agent's pages that they're looking at, just the average consumer, the average consumer is going to be blown away when they simply see a comma in the number. Uh -huh. And so that's all, I, that's all I would recommend with you is this number, we need to take that to 1,300 as soon as possible. That's the next Facebook ad. Because as people start to see your ad, I want them to know that you're the, you're, you're, you're King Kong. Like, and, and, and this is King Kong 51,000. You don't need to be nowhere near that. 99% are around a couple hundred. All you need is a couple thousand. That's it. You don't need 10,000, 5,000, 51,000. No, you just need a couple. If you took that to 1,300 or if you took that to 2,300, you're fine. Now you have perception. And then also over here in the about section. So let me go to Candy's page real quick. If I click about, I see her Facebook ad, I click on the business page, I see 3,500 likes, I'm blown away with, with, with just the number. It, it makes it look like she's you know, been doing this forever. I click about to see who she really is. I come over here, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. But then if I see Rob's ad and I come over here, I click about, there's nothing there but his email. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basic stuff, man. Basic, basic stuff that everyone misses. 
They want to go straight to Facebook ads and capturing leads before they focus on the basics. This is what I call basics. Step one, listing all those social media links. Step two, and this is where the social media links would go as well. I would see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. I would see all that right here. And then, and then, and then step two is the likes. Taking the likes up just so we know that you've been doing this for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Right? Because that's what we're going to judge you on is that number. On the, on the personal page, the intro is the first impression. And on the business page, the like count is the first impression. If you can get me on those two things when it comes to the average consumer's perspective and perception, if you can get me on those two things, you got me. Got and now, now I'm going to be like, man, Robert, he, he looks like he's been doing this forever. Let me see what he's really talking about, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and especially in Miami with, with so many real estate age agents. There, I mean, there's so many agents in that area. Like you have to stand out. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm giving you, you know, real, 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 real information here. I've spoken to thousands, not thousands in Miami, but I've spoken to thousands across the country and every single one of them is the same. They all have mm -hmm. a couple hundred. I need you to have a couple thousand. That's what I call step two. And so after that, then you go into step three, which is Facebook ads. And it's not that you have to run a new ad every day. What I would suggest is run a new one every week. So one, one, one day out of the week, let's just say every, every Monday, we're going we're gonna to do a new Facebook ad. And that Facebook ad is a simple video that Robert did on his cell phone, educating us on the process of foreclosure or the process of selling. I would, I would, I would focus on one topic for sure. One topic. Either we're going to talk about foreclosures, either we're going to talk about short sales, either we're going to talk about creative financing, or either we're going to talk about buying or selling. Focus on one. When it comes to when it comes to your Facebook advertising, because that allows you to 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 build an audience of 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 people that are all thinking of the same thing, right? Yeah. So so, I understand. so so if you were to simply pull out your phone, if and if you're not a video person, okay, then then w w you would have to you know obviously put out image, but the the the, the strategy is is a new one every week, a new one mm -hmm. every week. Every week I'm going to run a new ad every week. And, and, and the reason why video is so powerful is because I truly believe it. I truly believe it's so simple. It's your cell phone and, and you have the knowledge and all you got to do is pull out your cell phone and do some type of selfie style and talk about what you're already thinking of. Talk about what you're already doing. Talk about the creative financing when it comes to foreclosures. Talk about what you already know. You know, that, that, that to me, I don't know. I, 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 I think that's simple. If I had, if I, if I told you to write a book, you might, it might take you longer to, to write, write a book on what you know, but if you just pull out your cell phone and say, Hey, give me three minutes of something. You mm -hmm. could talk, you could talk about anything. You could, there's so much knowledge that you have on real estate, Rob. It's ridiculous. And, 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 and what I'm saying is break it up into, into two to three minute video segments, mm -hmm. do it, do it once per week. And that becomes your weekly ad. And again, the reason why video is so powerful is because let's say, for example, you do a three minute video, you pull out your cell phone, you talk for, for three minutes on the process of foreclosures. And, and every week, again, we're going to, we're going to do another three minutes and, and talk about a different part of it. But the reason why video is because when it comes to Facebook ads, as you probably already know, or if you don't know, Facebook allows you to start collecting data or start, they, it's what they call a, a custom audience. So if, let's say, for example, you have a three minute video. You run the three minute video for an entire week to Miami. Let's call it, let's call it South, South Miami. You run it to that area for an entire week, a three minute video. At the end of the seven days, Facebook is gonna, is gonna, is gonna, is gonna allow you to build an audience, it's what they call a custom audience, of all the people who watched different amounts of it. So for example, if it's a three minute video, I'm going to be able to create an audience of all those people who watched 25% of it. I'm going to be able to create an audience of all those people who watched 50% of it. I'm going to create an audience of all those people who watched the whole three minutes. And what I do with those audiences is I show them the next ad. So if you had a three minute video and I sat here and I watched 60 seconds of it. 
I might not have clicked the button to give up my name and number. I might not have, you might not have captured the lead, but for somebody to watch 60 seconds, that's a long time on social media. For someone to sit here and watch 25 seconds of your, of your video, that is a long time on social media. So if a person were to sit here and watch 60 seconds of a three minute video, there was for sure some interest there. And the reason why content is so important is because I'm going to run another ad next week. And because I'm able to track the, the audience who watched 60 seconds, I'm going to show them the next ad. Mm -hmm. I run Facebook ad number two. It's another video. It's a three minute video. I'm now creating an audience of all those who watch 60 seconds of it. And that's week number two. Now in week number three, I'm going to run another ad and I'm going to retarget everyone who watched video number one, everyone who watched video number two, and I'm going to continue to target Miami. And this is week number three, video number three, ad number three. So what starts to happen is you start to retarget all of those people who are watching your previous stuff, which allows your Facebook ad cost to drop and it allows you to stay in front of those who are watching your stuff. Because the first ad, you're going to run it to a cold market. Even though you know the targeting, even though the location and the demographics and you're targeting a specific type of area, you might know that much information, but it's still a cold market, especially if it's the first ad. These people don't know you. They never seen you before. You're not in their newsfeed. They don't, it's a cold market. That's mm -hmm. why creating audiences and video is so powerful because as I run out, as I roll out my first ad, as I roll out my first video and I get thousands of people to watch it, I then turn those thousands of people into a warm market. I then show them ad number two. And then I do the same thing for ad number three. By the time you know, before you know it, week, week number three, week number four, week number five, now I'm only targeting people who have seen my stuff before, which gives me even more credibility and when people start to see your video every week in their newsfeed or every day in their newsfeed, because you're running one every day, I'm telling you for a, for a month, a new one every week. So one video mm -hmm. ad this week, another video ad next week, which technically is running one every day. So because people are seeing you now in their newsfeed every day, what happens psychologically when we visually see someone and it happens with YouTube. That's why you, you, know, you, you decided to reach out because you've probably seen multiple videos. And what happened, because what happened psychologically with video is before you know it, you feel like you know him, like you like him, and like you trust him. Mm -hmm. Because you keep seeing video. And that's how Facebook ads work, is that when a person runs one ad, it's like, man, we didn't even give ourselves a chance. We have to keep running them because people, if they can keep seeing us, then they're going to feel like they know, like, and trust us. And before you know it, they're going to be wanting to do business with us because they keep seeing us. And so right. when you, when you can now, now, and, and that's why I'm saying, if you post every day, that can be time consuming and you're posting on social media on all these platforms when 99% of people live across the country, it's the Facebook ad. And, 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 and again, as I mentioned, it's not a new Facebook ad every day. It's just running the same Facebook ad every day for one week and then running another ad for that week and then running another ad. And it's just four ads a month. And, 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 and to tell you the truth, what, what I truly believe also is that a lot of people think that that's, that, that's going to cost a fortune. No, it's not. Facebook advertising, especially video, is the – I'm telling you right now, Rob, and this is the real, real truth. I don't know your exact numbers on Facebook ads, but what I'm telling you as far as video, here's a fact. If you were to take your wife out to dinner tonight, and I tell this, I tell this to every agent, I talk to every broker, every, every investor, here's the reality when it comes to video marketing your real estate business on Facebook through advertising. You and your wife would spend more money at dinner tonight than what it would cost for you to run a video ad targeting Miami for an entire week. You're right. So it's not a lot of money at all, at all, at all, but we have to get started. You know, we have to start, we have to start. That's the thing. And, and it's really just thinking of four topics a month. That's not hard. Four topics a month. We're focused on foreclosures. I have all this knowledge and information. I'm going to break it up in three minute videos and I'm going to do four of them a month. That's it.
that's it. And I'm going to target Miami and that whole city is going to know who I am. That's it. That's all there is. And, 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 and next month we're going to run, we're going to run four more. And, and this is what I'm going to talk about. And again, because we're building these audiences, because we're building these custom audiences, three minute video, we're going to create a custom audience of everyone who watched one minute of it. We're going to create a custom audience of everyone who watched 30 seconds of it. Because we're building these custom audiences, if we're talking about the same topic, it allows the audience to really, really get it, get, get good, get good, good value from what we're, what we're putting out. But if I keep putting out, and that's why I tell this to agents all the time. If you keep talking about on one video, you're talking about the process of buying. And then the next video, you're talking about the process of selling. And then the next video, you're talking about short sales. You would think that all that information is good for the, for the, for the, for the audience, but it's actually confusing, especially if you're targeting a local area. So, so I would rather niche down and, ta and target one specific topic, which could be foreclosures, and let's just talk about that. And, and let's just build all these audiences of all these people watching our stuff that are all interested in that. Mm -hmm. not, sell, not, not buying, not, not, not first-time home buyers, not FHA programs, not, no, none of that. Now, now, now when people see your ad and they, and, they, and they end up, you know, you're talking about foreclosures, of course, maybe, the, maybe, they're, maybe they're, their cousin might, might be looking for a first-time home buyer. Of course, you're going to get a ton of referrals and you'll have people to start bringing up other topics as well. But that's after the fact. That's after I got them in from, from my one topic, mm -hmm. you know? So David, one, one, one quick question, yes, uh, sir. because uh, what you're telling me makes a lot of sense. And I have thought about this quite some time. This is what, where I, uh, my concern is that I'm going to generate too much uh, inquiries, if you will, and I'm not going to be able to fulfill them. And then that's going to be worse than if I don't do anything. Definitely not, because you're going to control that based on your budget. So if a person was spending a hundred dollars a day and getting all this, all the, all the, all this, all these leads and, 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 and I, and, 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 and I can't fulfill it, then I don't need to be spending a hundred dollars a day. I'll bring it down to $5 a day. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, you're going to control that. I, 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 because one bad apple can actually spoil the whole, the whole thing. So what I'm uh, right now, uh, not because of the coronavirus, but it, typically my day goes and I'm constantly on top of the clients that I have, the referrals that I got. Mm -hmm. uh, I got many repairs that I'm doing. So my day is sort of packed. Mm -hmm. So for me to be able to extend and be uh, answering questions and doing all that, I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to reach that far. Just don't spend that much. Spend, spend, spend a little bit, spend a couple dollars a day if, if, if you need to. But the whole, the whole reason for it all is, is just to get your name out there, to get your face out there, to get your brand out there and to focus it in on just that local area. Okay. Just, just control it by the budget, control it by the budget. That's all that, that, that that's all that is. It's, it, it's, it's the, it's the budget. A person mm -hmm. spending a hundred bucks a day will get obviously way more results than a person spending five bucks a day. So if you mm -hmm. have so much already stuff going on, maybe just spend five bucks a day. And, and, and if, if that campaign just nets you an extra deal per month, that's good enough because you're already busy enough. You don't need 10 deals a month from what I'm saying. If it just brought you one deal a month that that can change your life, you know? So, yeah. and, and, and again, that's the difference between spending a lot versus a little, just spend a little, mm -hmm. you know, spend a little, spend a and little. Now, what do I do in this situation that there is, this is not something like what you're saying is to basically build a steady client, um, get my face up there. But this, that is going to happen. The, the thing that I'm preparing for is something that is going to happen. It's going to happen very quick. So how do I do, how do I, address the fact that I need to get up there and the people that are going to be clicking on the ad, they're not because of, of the number of likes and all that. They're because basically they're losing their house. The bank is on top of them and they're seeing it out. Yes. The, the likes have nothing to do with, with, with lead capture. That's just one ad, one strategy. It's only to increase the likes. So when you do start running lead capture ads, 
they take you more seriously. So the likes, that's not where I'm saying, take that to a couple thousand likes that that's not a couple thousand leads. It's just people to like the page. It's just to give the, the page a facelift on the personal page. Listen, all the links. That's all that is, is a facelift uh -huh. on the business page. The likes, all that is, is a facelift. That's all that okay. is. That's not leads. But I'm, all I'm saying is that that's important for your brand before you start running lead ads. So by the time you start running lead ads and you start to run these ads every week, people that are in trouble right now, as far as foreclosure, they're going to be seeing it, clicking on the ad and requesting a call right now. But by the time they see your ad and they come over here and do a little bit due diligence on you before they really, really want to proceed. All I'm saying is that they should see a big number and they should see all your links just so you look legitimate. Yeah, those are things that I can, well, I don't know about the likes, how quick can that happen? <laughs> I mean, it, I, can, I can easily help you with that. I mean, what I, what I normally do, like over here on my business page, like if you come to my personal page, like this, this over here, this is what I call step one. On my personal page, you see all my links right here. This is what I'm telling you. Uh -huh. There's a link to my business page. There are all my social media links. All that does, and I don't, and, and I'm over here, trying, you know, you know, building a social media business or whatever the heck you want to call it. You would think that I know all about social media. I actually don't, Rob. I have them all listed, just for my branding. I'm never on Twitter. I'm never on Pinterest. I'm never on LinkedIn. I don't know one thing about really Instagram. I run ads. But I know that's credibility and branding, so I have it listed. That's, it. That, that's basic step one. So on my step two over here, here's what I did over here. Because Robert doesn't know me, he's going to want to probably look more into me and come over to my business page. And when he comes over to my business page and he sees 10,000, it's a completely different perception than if I just had three. Mm -hmm. Right? And then, so what I'm saying over here on my reviews this is what I can easily do. 60 agents and investors have given me a review in the last couple months, all because I helped them run the like ad. I helped them do other ad lead capture ads as well, but that's kind of where it all starts. What I always propose is that I can easily do that ad for you. You just let me know what your budget is and just give me a good review. Got it. That's kind of what I propose. And now all I'm saying, all I'm recommending is that that ad should happen first before you try to capture leads. Okay. And how, how long would that take? I mean, to tell you the truth, Robert, I mean, I could, I could literally take that number from three. I mean, it just comes down to how high you want to go. But just to give you an example, I can literally take that number from three to 3000 in the next seven days. Okay. So it's a fast ad. It's not an ad that takes forever. It's, it's, and, it, and it's a one-time ad. It's not a monthly ad. We're not going to keep spending on that. No, we're only going to get the likes for the credibility of the page. That's it. It's not mm -hmm. to capture leads. So it just comes down to your budget. You know, some people spend $5 a day on it. Some people spend $10 a day on it. You don't need to go that, that high. You just need to put a comma in that number as fast as possible. Okay. So that number can literally go from three to 1300, for example, in the next three to four days. Okay. This is my wife's page though. Yeah. My page, I, I took it off. Okay. So whatever page, any page, whatever page, to tell you the truth, I'd be running ads from this page. I'd have your wife up here than you. Well, it, it, the, the reason is she, she's more into what it is, the financing. I'm more into it is the, uh, buying and fixing and flipping yeah okay so two different two different things i don't know what you recommend what is better i mean I, from my perspective i thought that she has her own and i have my own and obviously you can do that carry a business uh not sure as to uh, whether that's the right approach or not yeah for sure you could for sure do it however you want to do it however you want to do it i didn't know if you guys were a team or if it's no. just no she she's in her area she's yeah. a, a loan processor and a, an originator Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Run it from your page. Step one, I can send you a video on how to list all your links. That, that part's super, super simple. I'll send you a video on that. And then, and mm -hmm. then step two on your page, how many likes do you have? You probably don't have that many on your page either, whatever no, number okay. you're at. 
I, I, what I've been, well, I, let's put it this way. All the marketing that I've done has been on her. Mm-hmm. Now is when I want to basically incorporate the marketing into mine because of this new thing that is going to come over and I want to take advantage of that. Yes. The, the coronavirus situation. So <clears throat> in mine, I just did the page just because Facebook requires your page. Yeah. But not because I thought that I needed it. You know, now, now that you're, 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 you're showing me a different perspective of what I thought mm-hmm. that I was doing right. Maybe I wasn't doing it as right as I should have been doing it. No, you're, you're, you're definitely doing it right. And you're thinking right as far as Facebook ad, for sure. All I did is I showed you, and, and, and Facebook ads, that's what I call step three. All I showed mm-hmm. you here was step one and two. Mm-hmm. What should happen before we go to step three? And it's just by simply giving the pages a, a, a facelift. That's all. Step one, let's list all the links so people know we exist. Step two, let's take that like count up so the perception and the credibility is there. And then we go start step three and start targeting Miami. Okay. So it, it's, I, it's a three-step process rather than just step three. Got it. Got you know? it. So, and, 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 and yeah, that, that, that right there, it, I mean, I, I, and a person doesn't have to do that. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying you have to do that. You have to do step one. You have to do step two. All I'm saying from a consumer's perspective, because there are a million, there's actually 2 million. There's 2 million real estate agents on Facebook alone. God mm-hmm. knows how many are investors out there as well. Because of the oversaturation, there's millions of people in your industry. All I'm saying is that from a consumer's perspective, branding goes a long way. If I come here and see three versus going to candy and seeing 3,500, I'm a normal consumer. I don't know you. I don't know her. I'm looking at a stupid number. I'm just assuming she's been doing it longer. Yeah. That's all that's doing. That's all that is. And I just think that that's so important. And I think everyone yes. misses that. Yes. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a social media person. So yeah. this that you're telling me about the likes and the people, I, I, to me, have never had any value whatsoever. But I can see from a consumer point of view where that becomes basically a, 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 a gauge. Right? That's what yes. it is, Rob. That's exactly what it is. It's a gauge. It's yeah. a gauge. Because there, 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 there's so many people I can choose from. I could type in real estate agent. I could type in investor. There's so many people I can choose from. Mm-hmm. It's the number that's going to grab my attention right away. And then we go to step three. We're running an ad every week to Miami. It's the fact that I keep seeing Robert in my news feed and he keeps educating me. And when I went to his business page, he has 1,500 likes. And when I click about, I can find him on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Pinterest. That right there is what the consumer is, is just... And they're not, to tell you the truth, as consumers, it's not like we're even looking for that. I'm not coming to a normal consumer that has no idea about likes, has no idea about social media. The average consumer is not even looking for that. It's just the fact that we see it right away. It's the first impression. Yes. That's, that's why it, it, it matters. It's because mm-hmm. we see it right away. And when I see three versus 3,500, it, it, psychologically, it's just, it's just a different perception. Mm-hmm. that's it's, why it's so important it's a yes. way of measuring the uh, the, the person actually of, of, of assessing the individual yes exactly exactly yeah. so i so i would go there first before you before you go into into real facebook ads i mean it's it's, it's totally up to you we can we can go straight into facebook ads and i can i can help you with that part or or we can just do these basic steps first and then and then we go from there it's, it's up to you let I just me ask you something in the uh so that we will not waste time. Can we just work both together as the Facebook back is being created? I can be working on the other aspect. Which aspect? On the, on the one and two while the number three ad is being created. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's what I, that's what I'd love to help you with this is step one. I can, I can send you a video that walks you through how to set up all your links. And then step two, I can easily run that ad for you and have that running for the next few days while you start thinking what step three is going to be, what that, what that Facebook ad is going to be that targets Miami. Okay. That, uh, okay. Now, what, how much are are your, your fees? uh, All I, all I'm going to charge you is a review. So you just tell me what your budget is on the, on the, on the ad and and we're not going to run it forever. Let's just look at it for, for a, let's look at it 30 days. I mean, if we're going to run an ad for 30 days, what's our daily budget 
that's really what it comes down to. It's either either five dollars a day, ten dollars a day. I mean, you don't have to go ten dollars a day, and you ran that for thirty days. That'd be a three hundred dollar budget. So I don't know if you want to spend that much. And I'm telling you, you don't even need to spend that much to t- to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, now, in Candy's case, she spent that much. She spent mm-hmm. ten dollars a day for thirty days, and that took her up over three thousand likes. You don't need that many, to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. If you just spent five dollars a day. And, and, and we put, let's just say for the month, we put 150 towards that ad. Mm-hmm. That number would be at 1500 in the next few days. So we can do that, no problem. Unless, unless, unless yeah, let's, let's just my, do that. And then in the my, meantime, let's- My main start. thing, David, is I think that a month will put me at a disadvantage as far as the ad. No, you don't have to, you don't have to stop anything else you got going on. We can, we can have that running in the mm-hmm. background well, we go and run another ad. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so it's, it's going to run simultaneously if, 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 you're, if and whenever you're ready. So if you come back in four days and say, David, let's start step three. Help me run this ad to Miami. This one's going to keep running, and we just run that next ad. No big deal. Okay. Now, I, the, the, the reason that I was reaching out to you, all this makes total sense, and I thank you a lot, and I'm, we're going to work on this. That's for sure. Uh, was in generating the ad, um, getting that catchy image that basically will portray, uh, you know, what, what we're trying to do. It's, it's either you're going to come up with an image and there's a million images, or you're going to actually want to do a video. Okay. I think that for the ad, the ones that I've done, which I've done all lead capture ad, the image is a lot better than a video. Okay. I, that, that's what I've seen as far as uh, now people say do video, do video, do video. But as you're scrolling over in the feed, I think that if you see a cachy image, you're most likely, especially now with this Corona thing, trying to put all these things together. Uh, uh, if, if, if you're going through a hard times and you see an ad that right away addresses obviously Corona and, and uh, you know, if you're in one of these situations, uh, this is what we can do for you. Uh, I think that that mm-hmm. will be a little more faster. Oh yeah. Than 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 having an ad that is going to show like ten or fifteen seconds that people have to stop in there and look at the ad. Yeah, you can you could think of it that way as well, but then you got to also think of it from a consumer's uh, from from the other perspective of a consumer. We can do what we could do whatever you want. That's the thing. We could do whatever you want, but when it comes to social media. It's social media. People Mm -hmm. engage with people. This Mm -hmm. is not a billboard. This is not the news. This is not the TV. This is not the TV. uh, This is not the TV channel. This is social media. So when when I come across, look, and this is a perfect example. This is a perfect, perfect example. Here's an ad. It's coming for Burkana. There's an image of a hand. There is absolutely no personality. I don't know who this is. Yeah. So, so if that was just a random image of cash or whatever, and especially if it was coming from a name like creative financing, where it's more of a company name versus a personal name, it's going to take you many, many ads to convince the consumer because there's no one behind who's behind this versus if I scroll through and I see another ad, let's see if I can see another ad. (laughs) <laughs> to give you a, a different example, look, next day animations. There's a video. It just looks like an advertisement. There's yes. no personality. Exactly. And so you can do that for sure. It's just gonna it's just gonna take a little longer. You know, let me let me see if I can find a, a an ad from an actual a case of a woman. So so again, this is creative financing, and then there's a general generic image. It's going to take running that ad a long time before people actually know who you are. Before, yeah. You know, so that's, that's, why, that's why if you want to cut to the chase, a video is what you would do. But if you're not a video person, then what I would, what I would suggest, look, another ad, general image, general name, no personality. People are not engaging with that. But if you're not going to do a video, I would for sure consider an image of yourself. 
Let me can I can I show you the the, the one that I did on a yes for sure. Yes, just so that you can see because in there I put what I think that the ad's supposed to be. Uh let me yeah, see go how ahead. I get, uh, how do I do this? Do you see my screen? I do. Which screen are you, are you seeing? I'm seeing your desktop. My desktop, okay. So now if I go here, let me open here. And let's go to Facebook. <laughs> Who's that? Um, actually, let me, um, let me go ahead and, Mark, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to um, message you in a bit. Okay. Why is Facebook going to to the uh, library? Um, what you can do, just go ahead and um. Oh. Why is it going to the library? Go to just hit the hit the um hit the home button. Yeah, there you oh, go. There, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And then, not there. Hold on a second. Do I need to move this to the side? Uh, manager page. That's manager. This is where, where you will get access to a uh, To do the ad, no? Yes. So this would be step three. So step three, when we start running ads to Miami, then that's that's where I would, yeah, we would for sure run it. The like ad is the only ad that I run on my end. I don't know how it ended up with two different accounts in there. But. All the numbers are gone, huh? Go ahead and um, <clears throat> try maybe check in the other account. So hit the drop down on the top and hit that. Yeah. See if it's under the other one. No, no, no. Uh, it was that one. Here, okay. I haven't done anything. Gotcha. Okay. I just don't know how, how, how it ended up. But but in here, you can actually just, just view the, the account, no? You, just yeah, you, the can, you could just view it. So let's go on. Go ahead and hit the... um. Hit the drop down right there where it says this month, April 1st, 2020 to April 25th to the right, up to the right. Yeah, the up month. to the right, yeah. Yeah, hit that drop down and just go to lifetime. Click lifetime, lifetime. and see if mm -hmm. it shows um, anything different. And where can you see the ad? You just click on it? I'm not sure about that. Yes, you can. Well, what you can do is you can um, go ahead and check the box to the very left. To the very left? Yeah, to the very left. There's a box. This Check box? that. Yeah. yeah. And then click on the tab to the very, the top to the very right. Ads for one campaign. The tab up, up, right. Yeah, yeah right there. Click on that one. So How there's the ad. Yeah. So click on, go ahead. click on edit. Edit. Okay, so this ad, was this ad, so this ad was approved? You ran this ad? Yeah, it was approved and it, okay. it, it, it performed pretty good. Good, okay. I'm surprised it approved with all that text, but that's good. Okay. They, they, I'll be honest with you. They keep sending me little messages, but I keep ignoring it. On the text? That's, yeah, about having too much text. Too much yes, text yes. They let it run. Wow, really good. Click on, um, click on the top, over in the top left, 
you see the um the top to the left hold on because i got i got your, the cameras in there okay to the left here yeah right there up <clears throat> dpa date click on that one dpa date up dpa date uh right where your cursor's at it's right on. above so to, oh, actually, to the very left, to the very, 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 very left, all the way to the left, all the way, all the way. That DPA Dade Messenger, down. Okay, yeah, that one. yeah, click on that one. Okay, so you were running a mess a messenger ad, a messenger ad. Uh, I scroll down towards the middle. Yeah, I it's right yeah. there. Campaign objective messages. So you were running a, a, a messages ad. Hold on. The last one that I did, I used uh, many chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the one previous to that, I was just sending it to the lead capture. I was just trying different things. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So you, do you have a good lead capture page set up? Uh, no, I, I'm using Facebook for the simple reason gotcha, that Facebook gotcha. populates all the information. Yes, okay. So then with that one is the lead generation objective. Yes. Okay. Yes. So then you know how to do it. What, what, what part do you need help with? I need your expertise right now. You had men mentioned something that I was totally unaware of that people were looking at that. Mm -hmm. So that obviously I, I was being hurt in there. I need your expertise, your experience and, and, to help me how to do the, the actual ad, uh, put it all together and then, you know, put it in Facebook. This I done, I, I've been in computers for quite some time, not in social media, but programming and all that. So if, you know, if I set myself, I know how to do it and, and, and I can do it, but I don't want to reinvent the wheel. You've mm -hmm. done this many times, you know, the hurdles. So I want to go straight to the point, especially since I'm, you know, we approaching that time that, that the ad that I'm going to be putting out is going to have is is most uh, need, if you will. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing the the this May May first and on. I'm assuming that a lot of people are going to start thinking about what can they do when they cannot pay their rent, when they cannot do this, they cannot do that, and all these different orders that there is in there as to yeah. not to pay mortgages and all that are over then you're going to see a little wave coming in of all these people that want to, you know, mm -hmm. downsize, change, and that's where I want to be present in. So that's why I'm a little bit in a, in a rush to get this thing rolling. Yes. All, all that I, I would highly recommend is what I mentioned. Step one, get those links up. Step two, let's run that like ad and get those likes up. And then right here, all it's going to come down to is continually running it. And, 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 and I wouldn't necessarily run the same ad for the entire month. I would also change it up. And that's where I meant by more content. So, so maybe that image, go and get a few more images like that one. Okay. That I did all, all in a uh, Photoshop. Perfect. So, so maybe take out the, take out some text just so we don't keep getting, you know, the error or the, or the, or the notification. Mm -hmm. That w because it's not the it's not that the the text is gonna is gonna reject the ad when you get that error or the notification I should I should say all it's saying is that it's not reaching as many people as it could be. Got so it. so if you took out some text, it would reach more people. If you ran multiple ads like that throughout the month, same objective, same everything. You already have the setup. You're already doing it. It just comes down to now pouring it on even more. Okay. Do you have anybody or do you do it yourself, the creativity? As a matter of fact, thinking about how to put the app together because that's, that's, that's the difficult part, to make it catchy, to have all the elements that you will have so that the people will click on the app. That's, that's ad copy. So now, now that's the text. What can we write to, to attract the right person in the text? Right? That, that's kind of – is that what you're saying? Don't you supposed to attract individual on the image first? I mean, you got to scroll and once you see the image that basically you relate to, in other words, I'm going through this situation now, this, this image is talking about the coronavirus and the mortgages and all these other things. I'm going to basically then start reading. But if the image, in, in my opinion, and, and again, I'm not an expert at this, in my opinion, when I'm looking through, through my feet, if the image doesn't catch my attention, I don't read. Mm -hmm. I You're just right. Continue. That that image that image. What I would do is I would rather than a than an image of someone excited, 
I would just show an image of someone depressed. Okay. And obviously some, some, something has to be said in the image and doing all that. Now, do you, do, do you have anybody or do you do, do you do it yourself? I don't mind paying to, to get somebody to actually come out with the best image possible. I don't do the images. I don't pay anyone to do the images. That's not really what I, what I really even think is, is the most important. Um, uh -huh. An image, the text, you don't want to put a, a bunch of text in the image for, for one. That's not where the catchy part is going to come from. It's not the image. The, the, it's, it's not the text in the image. So don't worry about the text in the image. I would say take all the image, all the text out to tell you the truth. But the image, you're right. It does catch people or not. So, so maybe a, a, a someone, an emotional, show, showing more of an emotional side rather than excited because we're now obviously talk, talking to people who are going through some you know, heavy stuff, foreclosure, depression, stuff like that. So that mm -hmm. image needs to match that. That's number exactly. one. Exactly. And, then, and then number two, it's the ad copy. So it's the text. Mm -hmm. that, that's, what, that's what you have, to, you, have to, you have to be able to write good, is you have to be able to catch the attention through the text also. And that's why I just truly believe video is the best way. That's all I really focus on is video. Because that's where a person can really, really see who you are. A catchy image, because if it's not the video, then you have to be very creative on the image. You have to be very creative on the text. And that's what you call a copywriter. I'm not a copywriter. So, and neither, neither, neither are you, but at the same time, you know, more, you know your client more than I do. So, so if anyone's going to write it, it'd be you. You know how to talk to that person more than anybody. So, so the image showing a depressed person would be better. The text does not go in the image. The text goes in the, in the ad. That's the ad copy. You know how to write that text better than anyone. I wouldn't hire anyone to do that part. You know, you know the pain points of that person more than anybody. Mm -hmm. So I, if I were you, I'd write that text yourself. I'd put an image of a depressed person, not an excited person, because it's not an exciting time. Which... Um, I was thinking about doing obviously the, the text myself. Yeah. But the image, uh, that's what I wanted to get something. I, I guess if, I was if you go to somebody that has the experience of, 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 of obviously dealing with, the, with people, they, they, they will know what to put in there more than me. No, you know? no, you, you know more, you know your business more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. so, so that's not something I would hire, hire someone for at all. What I would also do is I would use Facebook's images. Don't even think you need to create your own image. If you go to click on the third tab, CF messaging at the bottom. So you got, mm -hmm. yeah, click on that one. Right there where you put the image, what I do, especially what I do for the like ad, because the like ad, when I run it, I, I run the like ad with an image. Every other, Im, every other ad after that, I, I always recommend my clients running video. But again, some don't want to do video and then, okay, we got to do image. But when it comes to the image, I use Facebook's images. So if you, actually, I don't think you could do it now, but when you come to this tab, when you set up a new ad and you come to this part, you, mm -hmm. can, you, can, you can use Facebook stock images and you could type in any keyword. And Facebook is going to populate hundreds of images based on your keyword. Sad people, depressed people, people in trouble. And, and Facebook will give you all these amazing images just like this one. And you, and I would use one of Facebook's because it's already, it's already, it's already the dimension and the size is already there and it's already approved by Facebook. And on all these images, there's absolutely zero text because Facebook doesn't want text on the image. That's not where the text goes. Um, that text needs to go, you know, in the, in the, in the text part. But again, the reason why image is a little bit more hard because now we got to write the text because that's what's going to attract the person. It's either going to be the image that attracts them or the text David, versus a video. This, this image that you see right there, and I take the text out, it will not have the same impact as, as with the text in. Right now, if I was sad going through foreclosure, it doesn't matter what that text says. It doesn't attract me. No, 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 no. This is not foreclosure. This is refinancing. I'm talking gotcha. about this specific. Gotcha. Okay. Thing. I thought this was foreclosure. Okay. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. This is refinancing. And this is basically down payment assistance that you can get up to $15,000. Gotcha. 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 So if I were to take that out, the image has no meaning. That's why the text and the headline 
is the most important. When it comes to a Facebook ad, it's the text and the headline, not the text in the image. Because again, when you, when you, when you see, when, when people scroll through Facebook, that's why you have to, you have to know, you have to know the audience. You have to know the platform. You uh -huh. have to understand social media to a certain extent. You don't have to know everything about it, but you have to see it from a consumer's perspective, <clears throat> especially Facebook, especially Facebook, especially Instagram. It is a people platform. It's not a business platform. Do, ad, do, do businesses run ads on it? Of course. But the content, when you look at images on Facebook, you're looking at normal people. Whenever I come across an image like this, I automatically know it's an advertisement. So all you're doing is you're hurting, your, you're hurting the engagement rate because people, right when they see that, you might think it's catchy to you, but to the consumer, especially when it's coming from creative financing, a, 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 not even a name, I would put your name. Instead of creative financing, I would have your wife put her name. Not creative financing, put her name. And, 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 and so when I look at that, when anyone looks at that, and that's the reason why your ad is not performing as, as, as good as it should, because it looks like an ad. Facebook doesn't want it to look like an ad. You want, and you as an advertiser, you don't want it to look like an ad either. You want it to look like a normal post from a friend. The best advertisers on Facebook and on Instagram on, and on social media make their ads look like normal posts. That doesn't look like a normal post. That looks like an ad. Yes. So, so it's, it's, it's the normal post. And that's why I mentioned in the beginning, it's the normal authentic cell phone video that gets the most engagement. But if it's not going to be a video, then you have to dumb that image down. Great image, great everything. But that's the problem with it. It looks too great. It's an ad. And, 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 and so when it comes to ads, we have to just make it blend in with what everybody else has seen. I'm scrolling through my newsfeed. I'm seeing my friends. I'm going to automatically come to yours, see an ad, and I'm going to keep going because that's not what I'm on Facebook for. That's what none of us are on Facebook to click on ads. Mm -hmm. We want it to blend in. That's what yeah. you need to do. That's what you want to do is you want to blend, blend it in like it's a normal post coming from another friend. Got it. Got it. And so... The text, it can go in the text section. It doesn't have to go on the, on, on the, on the, on the image. Okay. But that, that's, that's just, that's just what, I, what I know to be a fact. But again, you can, you can do what you want to do. But if, 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 if the whole objective is to increase the engagement and increase the ROI, that's mm -hmm. how it would happen. You're, you, all you're concerned about is how do I get a higher ROI on this advertising? That's all you care about. What I'm saying, my, my, my recommendations is less text on the image, put that text in the text. You know your business better than anybody, you should be able to write that text. Mm -hmm. and, and, and from what I'm seeing with the ads, if that ad is performing the messages, now, as I mentioned before, it just comes down to more content. It's not just one ad we run and that's it. We need to run multiple ads. That's what I mentioned in the beginning of our call. Run multiple. That's the problem. No one runs multiple. They run one. Mm -hmm. So you want to run one every week. That's what you want to do. Run one every week. And if you're going to do image, it's all about creating custom audiences, just like I mentioned with the video. So with the video, you create custom audiences of everyone who's watching it. With image, you create custom audiences of everyone who's engaging in it. So engaging is whoever clicks like, whoever comments, whoever shares it. That is a quote unquote engagement. You can then come into Facebook and create a custom audience around everyone who engaged. Those people are who you, are who you target with ad number two. Got it. So now they keep seeing you, they keep seeing you and, and now you keep retargeting a warm market who are seeing your ads. They didn't just see one ad, now they're seeing three, four ads. They keep engaging. You have to build that like trust because yes, people are going through trouble right now and foreclosure is around the corner. And if this person keeps seeing your content because you keep putting out a new ad, that's what's going to make them click. It's not mm -hmm. one ad that they saw two weeks ago and they never saw you again. They don't even remember you no more. Mm -hmm. You know, it. so, yeah. so 
if I could just give you any, any advice that, that that's what I would, I, the advice I would give you is, is, is less text on the image, use Facebook's images and create custom audiences. That's what you have to do. And you have to run a different ad multiple times. It's not just one. And, and, and what would you say your daily budget is? What, what's your daily budget on that? I, for example? I, I was putting in there, I think, uh, Ten dollars a day, I think I was doing. What I would do is I would run two different ads at five dollars a day. Mm -hmm. No, it makes sense. I mean, uh, you know, I was I was not in my right mindset when I was no. doing the ads. I, I was thinking about, like I say, advertisement. It's but, just but you're, you're you're on the right track, and that's what I I really applaud you for that. I I, I applaud you for for thinking and knowing that this is where we have to be. So mm -hmm. trying to figure out, trying to figure it out, it's not an overnight thing, you know, so I don't expect you to know everything about this right away at all. And, and you shouldn't be hard on yourself. You know, you're thinking the right way for sure. Now we just got to clean it up. Now we got to just maybe, maybe in, instead of putting one fishing pole out, we need to put five fishing poles out. Yeah, I got it. You know, that, that's yeah. all you're missing. You're just missing the other four fishing poles. That's all you're missing. And those are all different. And those are, those fishing poles are different images. Now, uh, so then how can I, how can we work together so that you can uh, be my consultant when it comes to all this and, and, and getting all these things set up? It, it just comes down to, I mean, really to tell you the truth, it just comes down to a couple coaching calls. You know, like I, what I do is I literally have, I, I mean, one, one simple package I have, which is, which is like for, I, I call it like a monthly package. You just tell mm -hmm. me your budget. Like you just tell me what your budget is for consulting and I'll work with you. Like, I don't want to rip you off. I don't want to, you know, charge you a ton of money it, because all it is, is a couple coaching calls. I jump on, we look at your ad, we run it. And then we run that for, let's just say a week. And then we talk again next week. Mm -hmm. It's really just a couple, a few coaching calls throughout the month that that's going to really allow you to really, you know, take this thing to the, to the next level. But I, I, I believe you already have, you're, you're already doing it. That's why I don't even feel like charging you because I, I know you're already, you're already there. Like you just need to, you just need to put out more at more images and, 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 and keep running it. That's, okay. that's all your, that's, that's all, that's all that's missing from you. That's why I don't even want to charge you because there's nothing that I'm going to do differently. I mean, it's just different images and, and, and keep running. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, I, I appreciate you being so candid with me, but I'll be quite honest with you. I do need to get the coaching because this is not my expertise. My expertise out on the street, fixing and flipping houses. So if I'm going to do this, I'd rather have somebody like yourself being back of me and actually pinpoint me so that I will not have to go through all those mm -hmm. it, it pain, pain growings, uh, uh, if, if you will, uh, growing pains. Is, is uh, 500 for, for monthly coaching? Is that out of your budget? No. Okay. So then let's, let's just start there. Like, let's jump on, let's just call it a month. We won't even go month to month. Cause I don't even think you're going to need me in month number two. Mm -hmm. If, if we just put 500 at, at my consulting and coaching, we can just jump on a call multiple times a week for the next four weeks. And before you know that be, before the end of the month, you're going to be a pro at pro at all this. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm game with that. Okay. So then Definitely. let's, yeah, let's just set it. Yeah. So let's just set it up. So let me just, what card can I post it with either a Visa or master or Amex? Uh, do you have sale? Um, no, I don't. You don't have sale. Do you have Venmo? No, I, I don't. I have, I have, um, I mean, I can easily send you a link and you could just, I could just send you the actual, um, checkout link or, or, um, PayPal. PayPal will be good. Just send it over via, via PayPal. Okay, perfect. So let's do that. And I'll just, I'll email you here shortly. And, and then I'll email you a link to my calendar and just set up as many calls as you want throughout the week. So we can set up our, another, our next call Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. And we'll keep them short, short calls. So we're not, you know, taking a couple hours. Like we'll just go straight and run the ad and, 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 and go from there. And we'll chat as many times as you, as you need me. Okay, to start now, are you going to send me the, uh, the information to get my accounts up? Do I need, to, like, I need to do something with my page? This is my white page. No, this is just having every, everything together. I don't think that that should be. No, we need, we need your page. So let's run everything you. from your page. Um, mm -hmm. What I can do, because it's time consuming, I know, it's, I know, I know you have a, a lot of uh, other stuff going on. Let me set up your social media links. I can do step one for you. 
Okay. So let me, let me give that page a facelift and make it look really good. That's step one. And then step two, what's the budget for the like ad? Just let me know what that budget is. What, what should we do with that one? You say that $150 a, a month will do? I mean, that, that's, yeah, I mean, well, that's $5 a day. If we just let that run for the month, that'd be 150. Mm-hmm. That's all you would need. Okay. So then that's, that's not fun. Good. Okay. And then, and then we'll just, um, and then, so I'll start that like ad. I could start that like ad today. And then, and then, and then what we'll do is let's jump on a call right away. So I'll send you a link to my calendar. I truly mm-hmm. believe, do you want to start this ad right now? This, this uh, lead, lead capture ad, or do you want to touch up step one and two first? That's what I recommend, but it's up to you. No, the, uh, the, uh, the lead capture, I, what I want to have is the ad is have it ready. So that come May, depending on how the situation goes, perfect. I can just turn it on. Perfect. Perfect. So here's what we'll do. Let's, let's focus on step one right now. It's the end of, end of April, right? What are we at the 25th? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the next five days, five, six days, what do we go? The 30th, 31st, whatever, five, six days in, in this next five day period, we'll focus on step one, getting all the links up and then step two, running the like ad. And then, and then anytime next week, I'm going to send you a link to my calendar, schedule a call anytime. And let's, let's okay. get, let's get that. Let's get these ads prepped for April, for May 1st. Okay. That sounds good. Perfect. That sounds good. Okay. So then should I send you a PayPal for, for the five and the, and the budget for the 150 for the like ad? Yeah, sure. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'll send that to you right now, Rob. Okay. Okay. So let's,